everybody, it's Tiara Brian, and welcome back to my channel. Today is January 5th, 2017. Current time is 6.17. Um, I hope you guys all had a great day. I had a wonderful day. Woke up, went to work, now I'm back home. I'm alive, I'm grateful, and I'm thankful. Um, but I'm here because I had a lot of things that I learned in 2016 that I'm now carrying on with me into 2017 and to the day that I die, okay? And I just wanted to share this with you guys because I feel like it could possibly be beneficial to you. Um, if not beneficial, then very relatable. Okay, so um, let's get this thing bumpy and jumpy, okay? So the first thing, okay? The first thing uh, that I learned in 2016 it's pretty cliche and pretty freaking simple but I learned to just breathe breathe deeply um I started taking yoga classes February 2016 and a lot of things that we did in there and a, well, a lot of exercises that we did in there were breathing exercises breathing meditations okay I was the type of person to think a lot it would be to the point to where I could make my mood go from up here to down here like that okay and um, with breathing deeply actually inhaling through your mouth and out exhaling out uh, wow did I just say inhale through your mouth no when you actually inhale through your nose and exhale out through your mouth it brings a sense of calmness to you it actually relieves your anxiety and makes you more peaceful um, you kind of find yourself having less thoughts because you're actually focusing on breathing and just calming yourself down. Um, not only that, but it actually helps with your body's detoxification process, okay? So, a lot of um, times, you know, we have a whole bunch of toxins stuck in us. And one main way to release those toxins is to actually breathe correctly, okay? And nowadays like we really don't look into that stuff and how it could be beneficial to us um, but it actually takes off a load onto our body's organs that are trying to do its proper function um, you know, so when we breathe correctly we're actually helping out our body and helping our health and it's great for your immunity and well-being so no, breathe deeply and you know what it's that important to me where I got a tattoo right here on my wrist y'all okay right here on my wrist okay now nah, it really just says just breathe you can't really see it but um whenever I get flustered or find myself overthinking I um look at my wrist like it's the watch and it says just breathe okay so yeah. okay the second thing that I learned is that you have a choice okay a lot of times we find ourselves complaining that um, you know we're constantly in drama we never have enough time to do things or we might not even like our job I know you know one of my complaints was I never had enough time to do things something that somebody really hopped on me is that you have a choice in your life and you know what you're never gonna be happy with yourself until you make that choice okay so for me my issue was that I really never had time to do anything. I'm a full-time student. I also uh, was a full-time worker. So it kind of really made it hard for me to do a lot of the stuff that I love. And plus, I'm young and I want to experience my youngness. Um, so I made a choice. And um, I finally decided to go part-time at my job. And uh, now I have all the free time in the world. And I'm loving it. I have more time to rest. I have more time to be me and do... Um, you know the things that I love and y'all I'm YouTubing like look at me now okay but yeah you have a choice people always ask me like T why are you so happy why are you so positive why are you always smile all the time because I choose to be happy okay it's a lot in life to be thankful for and I'm, I'm not going to let anything in I walk around with a smile because I'm just trying to amplify the energy and love because I hate when people are down and stuff so when I come around <laughs> I can smile 
I'm so lame. Okay, let me stop that. But anyways, yeah. So you have a choice. Mm -hmm. That's number two. Number three. Oh snap! I gotta look at my table. Number three. Affirm yourself positively. Okay. Our thoughts have a major effect on the way we live our lives, what we do with our lives. You know how we think of ourselves. I know that me. A lot of my life, I had a lot of self-doubt, okay? And it really stopped me from doing the things that I was actually great at and very talented at because I never believed in myself. Other people, you know, shouted out some positive information to me, but I was telling myself, you know, I can't do it, I suck, I'm horrible, I'm not, I'm not talented, I can't sing, blase, blase, whatever, okay? And that really affected me. So now, you know, really starting in 2017, I changed the way that I thought about myself. I, I changed my thought process. And um, it, it's really helping me now. And now I'm living my life. Um, and that I am it. Like, you know, we have nothing to lose. So once you tell yourself that and let yourself know that, you in there, okay? You rocking the show. You owning it. <laughs> no, but for real though, you really are. And um, it, it's just really important what you tell yourself because the only person that's going to influence you and, and what you do is you. Can't anybody else take that away from you, okay? Um, you have to be your number one supporter, your number one leader. Know, although we are our number, our number one, our number one critic, um, we also have to be our number one supporter. What you do tell yourself is what happens. It's kind of like that's number three, okay? Positively affirm All right. Number four. The fourth thing that I learned in 2016 and that is that the fourth thing that I learned in 2016 is that words are powerful, okay? What we speak tends to happen. And just like I how I said that um you know what you tell yourself is it's kind of like law of attraction. The what you speak is really like law of attraction, okay? Like you we always hear the saying or we always say the saying, speak it into existence, okay? You have a creator. Alright, and then there's us. We are God's image or uh, you know, that higher image. So just like the man up there, we have a lot of power, okay? A lot of power and we need to learn how to use it, okay? Just like when people ask me, okay, see, well, you know, what are you gonna do with your degree once you graduate? Oh, I am gonna be a youth advocate working with a nonprofit organization specializing with at-risk children, okay? A lot of the times, though, sometimes I will catch myself saying, oh, I plan on being a youth advocate or, you know, I will be a youth advocate, but that's not really, that's, that, that doesn't really say much. It, and, and, and two with that, when you don't say I am and you're saying I'm planning to be or, you know, I will be, you kind of limit yourself from putting forth that action into actually doing so, okay? It's one thing when you say it, but then you also have to have that action behind it. And when you're just like, yeah, you know, well, I plan on doing this. Well, well, are you going to do it, okay? So... Remember, I am, not I will be, not I'm going to, not I plan to, you know, just really watch how you word things, all right? And last but not least, <laughs> number five on the list is, <laughs> what is number five? Listen to your needs, okay? Listen to what your spirit is telling you, listen to your body, okay? This, this is one very, very big thing that I learned in 2017. Um, when you find yourself listening to yourself, trusting your in intuition, only you know you, okay? Not him, not her, not your boyfriend. I mean, you know, sometimes your mama or your daddy might know you, but you truly know yourself and what you what your needs are. And when you do listen to yourself, you you find a lot of answers. And this goes back to breathing deeply, but when you do breathe deeply, you, you're kind of silencing your thoughts and you're giving yourself that time and that opportunity to listen to what your soul, what your, um, you know, what your body is telling you. And um, I found 
we didn't a, a lot of answers. <laughs> a lot of times, like, the things that we feel is true and only you know yourself and know what you are comfortable with. Um, and it's really important to you because that's where you find a lot of answers. Your, your angels, your ancestors are all um, trying to tell you some things. And once you actually silence yourself and actually, you know, listen to you, get yourself some alone time and listen um, to, to everything that's coming up to you, you'll find answers. And I definitely found a lot of answers. And um, that really helped me in 2016 me to this day so um, okay so what did you guys learn in 2016 I'm sure you guys learned a lot just like I did um I would love to hear your feedback which you can leave below please like my channel please subscribe to my channel if there's anything that you need advice on or any topics that you want me to speak about please send it to my email t-i-a-r-a-b-r-i-a-n-n at gmail.com t-r-a-n at gmail.com um, and it was a pleasure with speaking with you guys. I hope you guys took what I said to heart. I hope it was relatable or that you guys even learned something new too as well. Um, so just remember, number one, breathe deeply. Number two, you have a choice. Number three, affirm yourself positively. Number four, words are powerful. And number five, listen to your needs and listen to what your body tells you, okay? Um, it's T.R. Brian, and don't you forget it. Peace, y'all.